My name is Julie. My daughter, who's 19, is currently in recovery. She was struggling with opioid and meth use. Well, the first time she went into rehab, it was not by choice. It was court ordered. She got pulled over four or five times for DUI, being high on meth, pain pills, you know, you name it, it was in her system. They pretty much just took her to court the very next morning and the judge kind of asked me, you know, what my thoughts were on it and I said, she needs help. And he agreed with me and sent her off to juvenile rehab because at that time she was only 17. So, I, I mean, up until this happened with her, I'm guilty of the same thing where you hear someone's on drugs and you automatically think, oh, well, that person's a loser. Well, you chose to do this drug. But then it happened to my daughter, my sweet, loving daughter. I just wish more people could see them as people. I mean, I joined a support group and so I could learn how to deal with it. And my daughter told me she noticed a difference and she's more open with me. There's certain things that I was saying that I didn't realize were offensive or whatever. And now that I figured out, okay, shouldn't really say things that way. <laughs> you know? we, need to, we need to be supportive of these people, not just push them to the side because the more they're pushed to the side, you know, the more they feel like they have no one. And so then they're, they just keep using because they think nobody cares about me anyways. So I might as well just keep going. Currently, she's 45 days clean. She's been accepted into college for the spring semester. She starts a new job tomorrow and soon will be moving into her own apartment. You know, it's exciting stuff happening right now with her.